St. Patrick's Day is a special time of celebration. Some people wear green, others decorate with shamrocks and tell stories about leprechauns and pots of gold. But who was St. Patrick? St. Patrick's real name was Maganus Cicatus. Wow, that's a really difficult name to remember and say. He lived in a small village on the coast of Great Britain. Patrick had five sisters and one brother. His parents believed in the living God and in his son, Jesus Christ, as their saviour from sin. Patrick was a fun-loving boy who only wanted to hunt deer, hike, swim and play games. He was not interested in learning about Jesus Christ or hearing about a sin problem. One night, when Patrick was 16, he heard people screaming in terror. Irish raiders were attacking his village. He smelt smoke and saw the buildings in flames. He was tied up and marched with many others down to the harbour. Patrick was forced onto one of the many ships. As he began to sail away, he thought, God, is this my punishment because I had no time for you? Patrick knew that he had disobeyed God by not following Jesus. Patrick had to start paying attention to God. The ships landed in Ireland, near Belfast. Patrick was sold as a slave. His new master had a big house. His tables were loaded with food, but none of it was for Patrick. Take care of the pigs and sheep in the mountains, snarled his master. Don't think of running away. Find yourself a cave to sleep in and hunt for your own food. It was a hard life for Patrick. Finally, he had time for God. Patrick told God he was really sorry for his sins. He now believed Jesus truly was God and asked God to forgive him. Jesus did save him. Soon Patrick was talking to God day and night. He did not even have one page of God's Word, the Bible, to read. But he remembered the Bible verses his parents had taught him and they really helped him. One day, Patrick seemed to hear God speak to his heart and say, you shall soon return to your own country. A few nights later, he dreamed that a ship from Britain had come into harbour. God directed him to the ship, but Patrick had no money. The captain roughly said, if you can't pay the fare, you can't board the ship. Patrick turned away slowly and prayed, God, if you led me here, please help me now. Even before he finished praying, he heard the pounding of feet. A sailor caught up with him and panted, Come back, lad. The captain wants to see you. Climb aboard, the captain said gruffly. God had answered Patrick's prayer. Eventually, Patrick made his way back to his home village. He was thrilled to see his parents were still alive. Don't ever leave us again, his mother wept. But Patrick could not forget the beautiful green island of Ireland and all the people who did not know about the living God. One night, Patrick had another dream and saw the place where he prayed with his friends. He heard them cry out to him, come back and teach us. Patrick was sure God was calling him to return to Ireland as a missionary. His heart was filled with joy, but his family were horrified. Then angry, you are ruining your life, his father said sternly. There is work to be done right here. Leaving Britain again wasn't easy, but Patrick had chosen to obey God. He sailed to Ireland in a small boat, then traveled on foot to many places, preaching and leading people to God. One day, 
the king's two daughters met Patrick. They were learning all about Druid mysteries. Patrick told them about the one true God. The girls asked many questions. Where is God? Does he live forever? How can we find him? Teach us more about God. I wonder, do you have big questions about God? Patrick explained about the true God and his son, Jesus Christ. He told the girls how their sinful hearts would keep them from knowing God until they asked Jesus to forgive their sins. Jesus is God, but he loved us so much that he left heaven to come to earth as a human baby long, long ago. He lived a perfect life. When he grew up, he took the punishment for our sin by dying on a cross. Jesus didn't stay dead. God gave him life again and he later returned to heaven. Patrick told the girls that if they trusted Jesus as their saviour, they would be saved and live in heaven forever with God. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10 and verse 13, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. The girls believed God's word as Patrick explained it to them. They trusted Jesus as their saviour. They never became druids, but instead worshipped the living God. One day, some men asked Patrick if they could have copies of God's word. Now, remember, St. Patrick lived many, many, many years ago, so there were no photocopiers. Patrick told the men, I cannot give you my only copy. Then, Patrick had an idea. Listen, if you learn to read and write well, you may make copies for yourself. Together, they built a small wooden building with tables and benches. Patrick bought some sheets of parchment and pens. Day after day, the men copied God's word. Whenever a copier came to the name of God, he took out a brand new pen. With special colours, he decorated God's name and made it beautiful on the page. Patrick thought of how he had trusted God and how God had protected him through everything. For almost 30 years, Patrick went around Ireland telling others about God. He sometimes used the shamrock to help people understand what God is like. We can use it to remind us that God is living, loving and lasting. Many of the people in Ireland believed and trusted in God. So, every time you celebrate St Patrick's Day, will you remember the good news St Patrick brought to Ireland?